Hello and welcome back to Dark There with Spooktober. Now, you kind of missed the recording thing, kind of cut out, so some things have been missed, but really all we did is put that chip into the open circuit board that you saw before, and we got one of three things that we need. Just turn the light off in my room. Um, uh, okay. Wait, hang on, we've checked this room, haven't we? Pretty sure we have. Let's go this way though. Okay, let's go to floor two. You know what? Screw it. Let's go to floor two. We'll check all the rooms again after that. Right. Override. Incorrect floor selector. Oh, there we go. Override. Moving lockdown. There we go. This cafeteria. Anything behind here? Can we set off a fire or an explosion? Do we any gremlins? No. Do these cups break? Nope. Stupid feckin' cups that don't break. Okay, still nothing. So we we'll listen to this. Johan Ross was found dead on the climate this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only a lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron Eames Lansky. We're studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda Est. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything. And definitely not to warn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice if you can get through. Don't end the est. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. What's to do with the well trying to free Ross somehow for sure? At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Mally Humber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. Wait, she's one more thing. Oh, shit. So is that body a woman's body? Um, trying to see if I can make out any body forms like Tetch. <laughs> okay, so let's send all these. Okay, basically the WoW's gone wrong, or the WoW, or whatever you want to call it. It's gone wrong. And it's mourning people. And uh, it's exploding them with the jail probably. On September 13th, Vic Erdekler Order staff at Tau to evacuate and move up to the Patio. Together with engineer Alan Wildeck, I descended into the abyss to assist the evacuation. Um, following protocol, we waited at the climber platform for 140 minutes, 140 minutes even, and made several attempts 
to contact Tao. I decided to move towards the site, thinking I might intercept them. It's when I noticed the guiding light flickering, and soon a whole path was shut down. Amiga sector swallowed by darkness. I pushed on my floodlight until I heard screaming over the short range radio. Carried on breaking in and out of range as I hurried closer to investigate. I came upon the lacerated body of field worker Espina. Something big had happened, almost cut her in two. I considered the importance of saving Tao and more specifically Ross. As I had, as I heard Espina. Pinosa's colleagues getting massacred over the radio. Seeing no way to possibly improve the situation, I hurried back to the climber and left the people at Tau to their fate. That's the murderer. I can't remember. I still can't remember what the murderer's name is, but that's the murderer. With some luck, Ross made it back to Tau is his, and is able to continue his work at Alpha to avoid further disturbances. I have reported. Decided to report the evacuation as a complete failure, hoping it will stop Fata from attempting another one. Cloud Claudia Eames, the manager of Omnicron, has already ordered the climb to stay at the plateau for now. My report on the savage wildlife scared everyone enough to even stop Waldeck and Darby from maintaining the Luma probes. It's a good thing Golaski is off site because I have a feeling he would not have approved. He would not have approved. Oh, I did say that. But the restrictions came out slightly more severe than I had anticipated, but I'll take it. As long as Ross is left alone to work with the WAV. Or the WOW. I'm still not sure what to call it. I mean, it is a WOW, not a the. But WAV just. I don't know. There's something already called a WAV, like audio. Dot WAV, but. Which is probably why I want to call it that. But anyway. Um, actually there's one more thing I need to look at. Okay, so that's the puffs and the suits. And then that's Catherine, I think. Okay. So, nothing there. Okay. So let's move on. What's the next room? Power room. East stairwell. Oh, we're loading. Whoa, what the fuck? Someone over there. Okay. Oh. Come on, dude, move. Move. Oh shit. Right, there we go, there's one of them. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, let's put that in there. Oh no, never mind. Okay. Where is it? Okay, it's there. Uh, it's far enough away. Just want to check. Okay, nothing there. Okay, let's continue to follow this room around. Let's 
go in here, see if there's anything of the worth. Um, don't think there is. Nope. Just gonna be static. Yep. What about you? Yep. And lastly, yep. Okay. All static key still. Right. We have no idea what the hell is going on anywhere in here. Can't open up the door because we haven't got the power, but we need another power key. Okay, let's see if we can find one. Let's just go down here for now. Because we're looking. Now we know what we're specifically looking for. It might help. As unusually sedated orange, rosy. Ruffy, whatever it is, has was hovering outside Omnicron substan la la la, substation. It's had a remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. Brought it to inside, brought it inside to study it, but it stiffened and died in the process. During post mortem study, the thing. Uh, during post mortem, it should say the post mortem study. The thing kicked back to life while being out of water. Kept swinging for a few minutes, so I returned it to the aquarium. It instantly started banging into the glass and bludgeoned itself to death before I could relocate it. Uh, I identified it as what was subtitling the Lumar probe. 150 centimeters long red of fish. It looks like it's been merged with some other fish. Kind of fish or shark. It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. It's clear that it's getting worse. Something is causing this. Patch! What are you doing? It's clear that it's getting worse. Something is causing this, and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that I've. Okay, that all very can't shut up about. This is just going to be another malfunction thing, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Um. Oh, we haven't looked at this. Okay. What does that say? Nothing that we can read. Uh, don't need to heal up. So it's in here. So there's those are the those are the fishes that killed themselves. They jailed up there are the fishes that look like they're, they're all dead. So I don't know what I meant to do, if anything, because I've already got gel. What's that? Oh, water bottle. Looks like some chip.
Okay, someone broke in. Okay, there's no way of opening that up. Okay, fine. Right. Hmm. No, don't want to go downstairs yet. Because there's got to be some bloody... Come on. There's got to be something in the second floor. Apart from the gel. So I doubt it's... What do you want now? Let's just check it's not in this room. Come on, hurry up. Put a copy of me and then let's go, come on. Right. Nothing. Not the rat. That's basically all we did. We got this thing that we put in from there, and we put it into this console, whatever you want to call it, control panel. Um, and yeah, there's nothing else in here. This doesn't take ages to bloody go forward and back from. Right. Let's go to the lower floor and work our way up. I think that's the best thing to do. To try and figure everything out. So where's the stairs again? So we have indeed forgotten. Actually, you know what? Let's try this. Probably gonna just make things worse, but try it anyway. Yeah, looks like it just turned out the lights, which does FA for us, which is annoying beyond fucking belief. Because it doesn't fuck us over, it's just annoying. No. <sighs> All right. So nothing there. No. Anything in here? Not that way. Um. Pretty sure there's nothing in here. No. Anything in here? No. Right, I'm back. Um. Ah, uh, this is getting annoying. I'm gonna save you all the time of me looking around. I'm just gonna cut to when I actually find something of worth. Okay, I'll just cut back like really quickly to show you that. I'm sure you can steal the Cortex chip from 
the robot you found downstairs. Try rejecting it with the diagnostics computer. Oh, I know how to do this. Okay, so that one goes all the way over there. And that one... Bounces down to there. No, that one needs to open. That opens to there. And gets bounced down to there. And that one does that. There we go. Got the badger. Okay. So there's two out of three. Last one needed now. Oh, shit, here we go. Having a good old save. I can have a very good feeling that this. that it's upstairs on the top floor. What the fuck? What? Oh, no, don't do that. No need. 
Don't need to follow me. It's fine. Just, just stay there. What the fuck? You're way too fucking happy and screechy. Oh! Don't. Don't do that. Back it in, Missy. Just stop. Why won't that open? Oh, fuck off. FUCK OFF! You evil old bitch! Fuck you! this room for Oh, you're, there's nothing in it. Okay, that was good to know. Don't find me. Oh, no.
Where are you coming from? Okay, that's fine. Oh! 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 Fuck me! Oh, that did my heart again. Oh, fucking hell! Okay, I'm looking up the answers after that. <sighs> Fucking hell. Fucking me, that really fucking gave me an heart attack. Oh, so we've got all of it now? Oh, that is news to me. Um, where are the stairs? There we go, there's the stairs. Um, can't remember, is it on this floor or is it on the one below? to the dive room aren't we that's where I remember now so then dive rooms in there but then so is the med bay okay. 
Oh shit! Sneak past. Shut the door. Keep going. Why is that not shut? Oh shit! Ah, oh, you fucking bitch! Fuck right off! Fuck right off! Fuck right off! Dead. That's us dead. That's got to be us dead. Yep, that's us dead. Piss. Just come back. Okay, I think I've got all of them. I think I have. So let's go back down. Um, yeah, this way. Go back down. sneak past her. I'm gonna take it it's a her because it sounds more like a her than him. But then again it could just be an it. Okay fuck it I'm running. stuff in it. Oh. Like so. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. Alright, try activating the seat from the terminal again. Should be ready to go. There we go, done. That's done, isn't it? That's everything. Oh. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control. So please. Put my feet up on sofa. <laughs> there you go. I want to go see what our suit looks like again. Oh no, what's happened? 
Why was it still talking? It oh yeah. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works. You know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sweet and Simon and the sea was copied. And now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. No, two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. Yeah, fuck you! <laughs> What's gonna happen to you? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in his fucking nightmare again? All alone? It's so cool. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? Can you do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I think we gotta do it. It's not like there's gonna be two. It's not like we're killing anyone. We're just archiving our old self. Because he's just gonna get killed in a horrible way up there. I mean, there's a creature like waiting for him right there. So as soon as he gets out and he has a walkabout, he's going to be dead. So we gotta kill him. Goodbye, old Simon. Oh, battery mount function. He's dying. Bye, Simon. Bye, me. There we go. Dead. There's no way to shut the door, is there? And give him, give the old me peace. Let's go. A new you. See how far through we are? 7 out of 10. 70 percent of the way through. Come on. Let's go. But actually, we will explore this new place next time. Until then, I've been Darkleth, this has been Spooktober with Saima. Goodbye!